everyone and welcome back to another installment of the viral podcast i am your host Paige jen and i'm your host chelsea lynn how's everybody doing good how are you i'm good i'm good, good. here we're shaking thank hands mm. hello how are you mm, good yeah you have smooth hands thank you you're welcome um so so uh, so, so uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm so excited to be back with another installment and another program and another um, broadcast. broadcast broadcast and another everything. And thank you for being here. Yeah. Isn't it weird? We're like radio hosts almost. I definitely feel like a radio host. You know what I feel like every time I put these headphones on? You know, the, you know that SNL skit where they're wearing the headphones and they're talking about the Christmas salty balls? No. What? I got to watch it, huh? You don't talk about Maggie? Uh-uh. Sweaty balls. Yes. Yeah. Alex Sweaty. Baldwin, I think. Oh, YouTube it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show you after the pod. Okay, let me write it down. Write that down. Yeah, yeah. A couple things. Real quick, um, let's get a a Paige's dad, Alan, update, because last week we sent him a picture of my pussy, Um, and so I know you guys have been dying for an update, so Maggie, what's the update on that? No word. Alan never texted back. Dude, left you on red. Left that pussy on red. Wow. So I'm thinking we resend the pic. And say, just wanted to make sure you've seen this. Do it right now. <laughs> and I talk to my dad, dad daily. Uh huh. And he has not mentioned it. He did say, <laughs> your fans are little wild. You know, they they always send me things, but I just don't respond. So he thinks it was a fan. I don't know what he thinks. Um, Maggie, resend the exact same picture and say, just want to make sure you got this. He's pretty He's smart. I bet he, like, Googled the number, too. No. It, I don't know. Maybe. And he probably Maybe. saw Maybe. Oklahoma. Maybe. Maybe. He knows something is up for sure. He knows it's my pussy. But he's with my uncle right now, so I think he's afraid to be like, hey, <laughs> did you by chance send me a pussy pic? I got it ready. Should I send it? Send, send it. Same pic. Just wanted to make sure you've seen this. I think send if it. you just say his name, though, like... Hey Alan. Hey, hey, Alan. A-L-A-N. A-L-A-N. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. One what, L. What is it? He'll probably be like, yeah, I got it. <laughs> oh, my. And if you guys, okay, let me give you a visual on this picture real quick. I am laying on a bed, no underwear, legs completely spread. I am taking both of my hands one hand on one lip, the other hand on the other lip, and I am completely spreading open my pussy. Like bat wings. Yeah. <laughs> and I took it, and <laughs> you can see her, like, butt. Clit. Yeah. You can the see clit, her the ass. ass. Mm-hmm. It's a clitorial. It's scent. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. All right. One more thing. Yeah. Uh, my website, I saw people on the Facebook rock fuckers saying, yeah, her website's up and it's live, but it is not because I have to switch the LLC now because we moved. Mm. That's a whole other process. So your website, that's going to have all the, um, crafts and the, the pimp house, the pimp. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I cannot wait. The fart art, dude, I'm going to love it when it's out. I got the cutest merch boxes. I designed them myself and, but it'll be up soon. One problem with the merch boxes, yeah. I got a, you know how you can scan QR codes and shit? Uh-huh. Uh, I got some of those on my box for the website to go straight to it from the box. And then when they showed up, I scanned it and it freaking calls a phone number. Calls what phone number? Just at, on each of them, it's like calling a different phone number. Where'd you order those from? Uh, no. You printing or <gasps> printing? I don't know. I, that's who I use. No, you call. How much were they? Uh, for like three hundred boxes. Wait, I think I paid like eight hundred or seven hundred total. No, nah. yeah, but I think I got five hundred boxes for the total. QR codes stickers. The, no, the QR codes are printed on the box. I would call. I would call them up. Oh yeah, for sure. You would. A hun- You paid eight hundred dollars, Paige. Yes. I know, but I was like, well, what if that's on Jerry's and. Well, they'll <laughs> they'll see. They'll see. if it's no, if it's a different number each no. 
That's odd. Yeah, I got to figure that out. Yeah, I would call them. Yeah. For show. Sure. That fucking sucks. But your website will be up soon, and you'll let everybody know. Yeah, I'll let you guys know on the group, so yeah, just wait for that. Love you so much. Yeah. Thanks for caring. Yeah. Love you. Love. Oh, my God. I love you so much. Love you. Love you guys. Love y'all. Love you, too. Thank you, Brett. Holy shit. Okay. Did you have anything else to say, honeys? Oh, yeah. I did want to bring up, uh, before we get into our segments, I did want to bring up the fact that right before we were about to uh, film this broadcast, uh, Maggie brought up something really fucking weird. Um, said that the uh, lava lamp behind me was pissing her off and making her sick. Watching that lava lamp with all the little bubbles make me want to puke. And it grosses me out. And I don't know why. Because that one doesn't. The one on Paige's side doesn't gross you out. It's that one. Why? Because yesterday there was like a million little bubbles and they were just sitting up top. And I don't know what it is. <laughs> they kind of look like warts. It looked like a... I don't know. It grossed me out so bad. It kind of looks like flesh. What? It's like a phobia with all those little bumps. A phobia? You know what a phobia is? Or like a... (laughs) An amoeba? I don't know. (laughs) I don't know. Wow. That's interesting. A phobia. (laughs) It looks like a phobia. (laughs) Well, I didn't watch it last, like in the Hmm. old pod room. So now that I'm facing it and I'm watching it. Wow. And it kind of looks like egg yolk. Yeah. Creamy. Egg yolk. Uh Creamy egg yolk. (laughs) Maggie's wearing her Mike Wilmer t-shirt. Maggie's repping. I know. This is my work shirt. I don't even. (laughs) That's your work uniform. (laughs) I don't even have them. We'll get you some. Chelsea gave all my merch away. Yeah. Yeah, she did. I did. My kids have them. Sorry about that. Okay. Well, I left them in a box in the house, and I said, get what you want, and you never did, so. Well, you said, oh, I'll just take these ones. I said, okay, and then, uh, <laughs> and then I just never saw them again. So I, I had the maybe one from the photo shoot, but I got to get some more. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll get some more and get a hoodie. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to need a hoodie for this cold weather. Mm-hmm. Huh. Hey, does this weather, when it gets cold, is it still, like, humid like this? No, it gets cold here. No, it's nice. Yeah. Okay. It'll get cold, cold. It'll be nice fall weather. Where does that humidity go? Just just the birds take it up and fly it away. Just suck it up? Yeah. Hmm. Something like that. I don't know how science works. Can you imagine if it was freezing cold outside and it was still humid? That would be I know, that would be, almost. That's what I'm saying. I mean, that's two different, that's, you know... That's two different things. You'd be slipping in a sliding. Yeah, slipping in a sliding. That's a song. Ooh, never heard. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Slipping in a sliding. Yeah, slipping, sliding. Something like that. Yeah, I don't know the rest of the words. It's like a yeah. 50s rock. Yeah. Rock and Robin. Trick yeah. Daddy did a slip and slide, I think. All stars. Yeah. Hmm. It's that bath song. Yeah. Splish, splash. I, I was, was taking, taking a bath. bath. Bum, 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 on a Saturday night. night. You know the song. Okay. She goes, bum, 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 bum. Yeah. But it was the way you were saying. Yeah. Slipping in a sliding. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> not it. Hey, honey, music buff here. Splish, splash. I was taking a bath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't fit into my bathtubs here at the house in Tennessee, so that's cool. They're oh, tiny. They are? They're little. I mean, if I want to put three inches of water and in, in sit in there and just have my bottom of my legs. Little for mama. Oh, little for mama. <laughs> That's Gary's bathtub. I'm telling you right now, when I build a house, my bathtub, oh God. It's just got to be like a hot tub. I'm pretty much going to have a hot tub as a bathtub. Then yeah. we could all get in it. Because I'm so big. I have big legs, long legs, big belly, big pussy lips. I just need a good big space to take a bath. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> It's true. When you say that shit, I'm like, okay, how am I going to react where people are like, God, Paige is just... Oh, no, I want you to laugh at me. I'm a big bitch. I'm a huge bitch. Everybody laughs. And we, we tell her, too. We're like, that's, that's, that's a big bitch. I mean, I'm huge. There's nothing mean about that. Do you no. speak a little? There, I don't think there's anything, but I get what you're saying because people... Yes, I get what you're saying. People are... I get that, but I'm a big bitch, and so saying I'm big is nothing... That's not mean to me because it's the truth. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like, I don't, there's nothing offensive to that because I, because, yeah, that's not bad. 
you know not, it's not but just and i've got big pussy it. lips <laughs> you've seen them i've deep. seen them <clears throat> my Very dad deep. my dad's seen them i can't believe mm. that let us know when he responds i know i'm checking <laughs> i'm checking nothing yet all anna right. says delivered all right so. we'll, we'll check at the end of the pod we'll check okay. we'll check back and you put his name alan a-l-a-n all right sounds serious Alan, did you get <laughs> just want to make sure you've seen this? If he doesn't respond, we should send it every day, <laughs> <laughs> every week, every week, every week. That I way, mean, yeah. that way, we'll see if he's wa- on. really, really watching the pod. <laughs> I think he just rewatches the episode he was on. Oh my god, that's funny. Yeah. Company. Hey, Brett, this would be a perfect time to play the soundbite of Alan. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. 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 I get off. Can you get me? You got one more for us? And the go-to. How do you suck me? Yeah. How do you suck me? How do you suck me? That's always going to be my favorite. That's the best one. I want to yeah. see pictures of all these people. I know. Oh my God, if we all got them in this room. We should get little tiny pictures of them and just <gasps> yes. place them everywhere. If you make it on a sound bite on this pod, you need to be up on the wall. Maybe up on the ceiling. Yeah, that's a good idea. We have no way of reaching, you know, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We always do. <laughs> but Squirrel. It might be like in a year, but. Squirrel. 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 Oh, I jack off to you, Tammy. <laughs> I jack off to you, Tammy. Wow. Flattering. That makes me feel good. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, are we getting into the DM skis? Yes. What's the DM for the day, honey? What's the DM for the day, honey? What's the DM for the day, honey? Oh, we'll tell you just I've got a really good, uh, um... DM. Okay, hit it. Let me hit it first. Mm-hmm. Here we go. This is from a gentleman named Tristan. Young guy, clean cut, wearing aviators in his profile picture. <clears throat> and he says, I want to spread your butt cheeks open and sing to your brown hole. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever made out with a tree or any type of vegetation? Asking for a friend, and by no means myself, in all caps. I'm looking in your big brown eye. A longy, longy, long. What what got me was the, I want to spread your butt cheeks open and sing to your brown hole. That's pretty normal. The vegetation. But the fact that he threw in, have you ever made out with a tree or any type of vegetation? That one got me. Got me too. Honestly, it got me. I've never heard sing to your brown hole. Brown hole. How, how, does, how does he know it's brown? Well, Could be bleached. I think because you've said it's kind of dark. <laughs> and I just want to let everyone know, I've used bleaching cream on it. I told you I'd stick a potato on it, though. Yeah, we need to try that. And lemon juice. Yeah, we need to try that. Oh, gosh. Just to see if it works. Lemon juice would burn, I feel, but yeah. you just... Only if you have a cut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Paint is beauty, or whatever exactly, they say. Exactly. <laughs> oh, fuck. What's your veg- Vegetation. <laughs> this chick said, Hey, Paige, fuck you, you nasty bitch. <laughs> I fucking love you and Chelsea, and I wish I was your friend. What does your pussy smell like? Whoa. Well, she's, she uh, cleans her pussy with water, and there is no smell, so she's God's favorite. Yeah. 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 Cause so, yesterday w- it was kind of smelling though. Like what? Your pussy never smells. What I it disagree. smell like? Yeah, you know, didn't smell. Well, it, you know, <laughs> when you kind of wean off your period. Oh yeah. So it smells like blood. That's different. Copper that, pennies. That's different than a stank. It's that mayonnaise smell, you know. That's the one. But That's cum. Oh. Oh, hey honey's nasty here. Get trivy, get trivial, ah, oh, get trivy, get trivial, oh, fuck me, get trivy, get trivial, 
I haven't sang that song in a, it's been a minute since we've sang Trivial. I'm so I happy. Love it. I okay. love it. Are you ready? People love the, oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Oh, okay. Is everyone ready? We can't have one thing just without being disgusting. I know. I know. Like, trivia should be normal, but it's not. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This looks like it's on its last leg, damn. Here, let me Screw tighten up these screws. Thing. We're okay. doing our trivia and tightening right. the wheel. Hey, yeah, he's tightening the wheel here, and it's not. Okay. Everybody ready? Like Could the handwriting? Sc- yeah. Thanks. Brett wrote the you trivia. Did that? Yeah, I did. All right, here we go. Ready? My turn. Animals and slit. Huh? Shit. What? Animals and shit. <laughs> <laughs> slit. I, I've got slit on the brain. Okay, so wait, wait. Just to be sure, I know there's a lot of people... Uh, who are pissed off at Trivial because I guess we don't have very good structure on it. So we're each spinning, and then Paige and I have to guess first. So it's between me and Paige. So so just because I got animals and shit doesn't mean I'm the only one that has to get guess. We're both guessing. Because I saw a comment. I was like, Chelsea always guesses on her turn. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Because you know the bit. answer. Because I know it, so I guess it. Mm-hmm. It's a speed if, effect. Yeah. It's whoever knows it first has to, it's between us. Sometimes if we don't know it, though, we're trying to, like, guess together. Like, I know. Like, okay, so. Help, help me. <laughs> help me, please. All right. Animals and shit. Okay, here we Number go. Number one question. What is a baby goat called? A oh, fucking. Dude, should we be knowing this? Um, A, uh. Hair. Uh, I'm just going to say. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to say a goat. <laughs> a kid. Wow. Wow. It's crazy. Do most yeah. humans know this or just farmers? Probably just, far- probably just goat farmers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'd be kind of weird to get a euro with, you know, because it's yeah. goat meat. Like, All right, your turn, goat. honeys. Anyway. Here we go. You do it. That's pretty good. Thanks. Oh. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Fifth grader. Let's see. Oh. Probably Let's not. Let's see here. What is the rarest blood type in the world? Double O. O negative. A B negative. I don't even know what blood type I am. I think I'm AB negative. Really? Whoa. Because they used to call me for years Wanting and beg me blood. to come give blood. Hmm. Remember I told you that? Mm-hmm. They, they do would, the same with me, yeah. They called me. I mean, they'll still call me. They must love that blood. Yeah. I wonder how you find out hmm. what blood type you are. I'd like to know what blood type I am. I did a test on myself in high school. We went to this little thing. I don't know. And... They t- taught us how to do stitches, and then we pricked our fingers, and then we all, like, sampled our blood and, like, the way it came back or something. I would think I was, like, B negative. Hmm. I have pictures of it on my You can order kits Facebook. on Amazon. I'm going to do that. Yeah. I'm going to do that. I thought you were O positive, babe, you said. Mm-mm. Wrong oh. girl. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. My turn? <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Lead singers. Lead singers. Question number three of Trivial. Let's see here. What year did Kurt Cobain pass away? 94. Correct. Nice job. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Country music legends. Oh, God. These categories are all for Chelsea. Uh, Lead no, singers, hold on. country. I did not do these. I had Your no- sister. I had n- just kidding. No, I had nothing to do with these, and we do need to freshen that up. Hey, Beth, do, do better. better. Yeah. We're going to freshen them up for you, honeys. Okay, a little freshen up would be cool. But what category would I be down? Well, crafts. Crafts. Yeah. 
We'll figure it out. <laughs> Knitting. Yeah. Country music lessons uh, number four. Um, what was the name of the What was the name of Waylon Jennings' first band? Oh boy. <sighs> I don't know. I'll do another one instead. That's the no. Texas Longhorns. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. No, we'll go with that. Okay. 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 All right, so it's one, one to zero. Very tough. Okay, one more. Did you do that one or did I? I think I spun, but she you spun. never can yeah, she spun. Okay. So this is the last one more each. Okay. Okay, ready? <laughs> Classic sitcoms. Is that orange? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Classic sitcom. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. All right. What high school do the Brady Bunch kids attend? Oh, oh boy. My God, Brett. You know what? I don't know, but the second you say it, I'm going to know. I don't know. What is it? Westdale High School. Okay. Cool. Tough day. Yeah. Cool. Real, very tough real day. tough day on the Here we go. Sports or sprouts? Sprouts. Here we go. Sports or sprouts. Let's see here. What is the definition of a sprout? Huh? A seed that grows. What does she mean? I mean, that's pretty good. To grow, spring up, or come forth as or as a sprout. So would you say I got that right? I'd say so, yeah. yeah. Good job. What a yeah. question. Nice job, honey. Definitely sprout is to sprout, to grow. Yeah, to yeah. sprout. Nice. I had fun during this trivia. I'm sprouting up. Should we do one more? We go, what does sprout mean? We go, sprout. To sprout yeah, up. You got it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you sprout. Yeah, you go ahead and, uh, and spin, honey. Do you want to do one more? Yeah. Go ahead. Well, classic sitcoms. You want to do another one? Or you want to go with classic sitcoms? That works. Okay. Classic sitcoms. What Nickelodeon animated show starred Tommy, Chucky, and Angelica? Oh, oh, God. God. oh, God. oh God. Rugrats. Yes. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Way to go. You know yeah. what's so fucking funny? I have a Rugrats outfit in my purse right now. Well, mm. I told you to buy it. Mm-hmm. We were at Target. And I said, you need to get that. Because it didn't come in my size, obviously, so I couldn't get it. But I wanted somebody to wear it. So, Gotti, I used to love that. Dude. I know. That Me pregnant too. ass mom. Me too. Dee Dee. Dee Dee. What? You remember her name? <laughs> her name was Dee Dee. Dee Dee. Do you guys remember that uh, show on Nickelodeon uh, where they hung the underpants up on a flagpole? Oh, yeah. Recess. No. Um. No. Did they have those football heads? Um, hey no, Arnold. You're, you're thinking of Hey yeah, Arnold. Hey An- this no. was not a cartoon. Flagpole, oh. underwear, flagpole, Nickelodeon. I would fuck with the Fairly Odd Parents. Oh. Let's see. Did here. you like the Fairly Odd Parents? Yes. And you guys, hey, just straight up, I want to let y'all know that, um, you know, I live kind of outside of town in the middle of nowhere. And my Wi-Fi is acting up because we have a tin roof. And so we're not getting good Wi-Fi. And uh, so, yeah, just like last episode where a couple, um, you know, technical, co- couple technical difficulties. Uh, so we have to order a special like thing to go on the roof to help with the Wi-Fi. And it hasn't came in yet. So I'm hoping we can listen to some of these questions, but who knows? Um, I was going to look up the underwear flagpole, but I'm not getting service. Damn it. Well, yeah. it, it was called, it was called something. It was so good. Salute yeah. your pants. Salute your pants. Mm. Yeah. I was going to say people in their car are probably fucking screaming. Screaming it. Salute your pants. Salute. Yeah. I never heard. Oh, that was my shit. Yeah. What, uh, like era, like mid nineties, late nineties, 96, 97. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. I- I was fucking with Clifford the Big Red Dog mm. that time, probably. Even yeah. Stevens. Arthur. Yeah. God. Good shit. Good shit. Um, Brett, do you yes. want to go ahead and lean forward? Sure. Let me just go ahead and play this song real quick. My intro song. Okay, here we go. Oh. We're waiting on you. Okay. okay. Oh, 
You like that reverb echo? Holy uh, shit. Brett. <laughs> Holy Is that a banger? Or? What was it saying? I'm moving forward, Brett. Lean forward, Lean forward Brett. Yeah. Brett, I'm not going to lie to you. Can I hear it again? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, no problem. I'd have to turn this up, though. Okay, turn it up. <clears throat> Okay. Thanks. And Brett made that. I did. That was great, Brett. You Stayed did. up till 1 a.m. <laughs> hey. Brett Boone made it. I had some uh, garage <laughs> band problems. That, that's Adobe for you. I just want to say stuff. something. Add that <clears throat> to the end of it. Brett Boone made it. <laughs> <laughs> Have Paige yes. say it. Have Paige like say that. it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Brett. Yes. You did good. Thank you. Thank you. I told you mm-hmm. to do better, and guess what you did? You did more than better. Thank you. Way better. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate it. Now, Paige. We're not going to laugh during this segment. No, you guys can laugh. Dude, it's, it's fine. it's so hard. Are you I'll, sure, Brett? I'm going to push yeah, my mic care. away, but it's <laughs> Should I mute y'all? I'd rather you laugh than just to sit there and, you know. No, don't mute yeah. us. We'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. But I'm setting the timer. Are you ready? How, how am I going to know when I'm done? The timer will go off. Sounds good. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> can, I get, can I get like a five? No. Nah, no. Okay. No. Okay, <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm going to know when I'm done. We're just going to let you talk for 45 minutes. Can you mute the timer? Or? No, it needs oh, okay. to go. It needs to buzz. Yeah, okay. it's got to be loud. Okay. I'm already done, I dude. Know. This is my favorite segment of the whole fucking pod. I just want to say that. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right. Is everybody ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. And go. Yeah, I figured since I talked about blackjack last time, I just talked about craps because craps is a really great game to play when you're drunk and, you know, just with your friends having a good time drinking beers, okay? Just play the pass line, minimum bet. If you want to increase your uh, money, you would just increase your odds, which is the money you put behind it. And so really, uh, with craps, it's the only time you're, you're favored to win in Vegas. So the first roll, if you roll a seven, you actually win your money back, okay? And so 7-11, you win. 2-3-12, you lose, okay? If you don't roll a 7-11, 2-3-12, um, let's say you roll a four, uh, five, six, eight, nine, or ten. That's your point. So you just got to hit your point again. And so if you have five dollars on the pass and the money behind it, it's harder to roll a four and a ten than a five or nine or a six or eight. So you'd actually win back double your odds on the on the back uh, on the pass line. Okay. So all you got to do is just play the pass line. A lot of people think craps is you know a hard game to play, but uh, you're really just playing the pass line. Full odds. Yeah. All right, Brett, go ahead and lean back. <laughs> okay, thank you. Holy you should holy see, you should shit. see my fucking pants right now, soaked in piss. <laughs> no, those are brand new chairs too. Soaked in piss. Yeah, cause I pee. But right now, yeah, we're getting a I, pot pad to put. Under I was you. laughing. So stop. <laughs> I'll, can I just say this? I love that Brett has sixty seconds to mm. talk about whatever he wants to talk about, mm. and he chooses that. I, th- I think it's the best thing my dad taught me. It's how to gamble, you know. Dad. You can save money. My dad. Make money. And plus you'll get all the comps, you know, free. Brett, lean yeah. back. You're yeah. not You're oh. not leaning. <laughs> <laughs> Your time's over. Touch the wall. Do you guys Brett. don't have any questions about craps at all? Or? Brett, go ahead and touch well, the wall. Well, I guarantee the comments are going to be filled, like, huh? Oh, really? Like, what? Yeah. If people want to learn. Oh, man. I'll do a reel as well. Oh, craps. Oh, my God. I'll switch it up to something this else This is next my time. favorite fucking segment of all time. We should do this every fucking show. 60 yeah. seconds. It's just 60 seconds. Of heaven. Yeah. Hey, Brett. <laughs> Brett, your segment's over. You gotta lean back now. Sorry. See my fucking soiled pants, right? <laughs> soil. We're gonna start smelling it. Oh my god, it's hot in here. <laughs> it's hot. Okay. Oh god. All right. Love you, Brett. Love you too. Love you, honey. Thanks for affording me the opportunity again. Oh yeah, we got you. Oh my god, dude. All right. <laughs> well. Watching that, even Maggie over there just sitting there, like she <laughs> she's just looking right and left, like. 
<laughs> no. And it's so fucking funny. It's my favorite fucking dude. Oh my god. I kind of get nervous. Why? Because you don't know what he's going to say? You don't know what he's going to say. Yeah. And then. Yeah. Well, I kind of want all you guys to play craps. Hmm. I don't get craps. It's so easy. My brain doesn't know how to do stuff like that. You don't even have to think. You just put your money out and then. But with we'll roulette, with roulette, you just go black or red. That's what I like to do. I go true. red. Roulette yeah. is a good decision as well. If you don't want to. Do they have there. casinos in Tennessee? Yes. Are where are they? Just I know. Like I've it. seen bill tons of billboards. Oh, up I and haven't down. seen any. You pass by ten of them going home. I saw like well, the I'm lottery. Driving. I saw the lottery ball thing, uh-huh. but I don't see. I yep. don't see the. It's called peppermint or something or something like that. Mm. We, we should got, go. We should go. Mm-hmm. Oh my I'm going to go play blackjack. Hilarious. Oh, I have been playing Fall Guys on Xbox. It's oh, fun. Fall Guys? Yeah, it's What's fun. That? Like, I think you would <laughs> like it. You have to go through these little obstacles. It's, it's okay. like Squid I'm gonna Game. I'm going to show you. Yeah, it's kind of like Squid Game, but they're, they're these little, uh, I don't know how to explain them. I wish I could show it to you. But I want all of us. I want to find uh, 60 people. For Halloween, and I want us all to be the um, the Fall Guy characters. Hey, honey. Because then we'll bounce around, and we could go uh, bar hopping. Hey, honeys, don't know 60 people here. Hey, honeys, need friends here. Just Paige's family. Yeah. (laughs) Hey, I need you guys to all come here for Halloween. We have an idea. Hey, I'll give it a go, but you know I'll only play uh, Super Mario Nintendo. It's kind of like that. Really? But you, you're actually competing against a bunch of other people. Like, everybody joins, hmm. and it's it's really cool. I'll give Paige it a go. Paige is really good at it, actually. I know. I was like, I'm going to show Chelsea this game, but she's going to be like, dude, my brain hurts. I, I don't know. I just... but It's three <sighs> buttons. Just jump forward, and it's like a 3D, you know... I wish you could look. Yeah. So yeah. this is them, <gasps> these little characters, and they all, like, hop around. You know how many okay. walk sometimes? Like, yeah. They do that, but think of 60 of us, because 60 people start the round, and if you, like, fall off the obstacle or whatever, you get eliminated. So if we did, like, a bar crawl and, like, the last person, or do something. So you're literally playing with other people. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Live. I'll try it. It gets your heart thumping. What about your pussy? Yeah, that too. Mm, okay. Yeah, and if you don't qualify, it, like, pisses you off, because you got to wait until everybody mm. else is out, so, like, you feel like an idiot. Because mm. everybody else moved on and you died. Any Fall Guy players out there? Yeah, let us know. Let us know. Interesting. Well, that's it for the segment. Should we uh, hop on into the uh, questions? Yeah, roll it. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Today's episode is sponsored by PayPal Honey. The easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Uh, I'm going to be straight with you guys. I do 99% of my shopping online. Always. Um, Hate getting in my car, hate driving, and hate crowds. And I pretty much never have a promo code when I'm checking out. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Okay, so imagine you are shopping on one of your favorite websites. When you get to the checkout, the honey button appears and all you got to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds and honey searches for coupons that can be applied on that website. If honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. Wowzers! Game changer. Straight up, you guys, since using honey, I've saved a lot of money on clothes. I, You guys know I'm a big girl. I can't go to the mall and go into a, you know, whatever store and, you know, fit into anything. So I buy all my clothes online, been saving. Hey, honeys, honey saving here. And honestly, honey's super easy to use. Like, it's super easy to use. And even if you save a few dollars here, a few dollars there, crap adds up. And listen up, honey doesn't just work on desktops. It works on your iPhone, too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And 
By getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. I'd never recommend something I don't use. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash viral. That's joinhoney.com slash viral. The other day, my wife was doing laundry, and she was hanging stuff up on the line, and I didn't see it at the time, and I should have been paying more attention. But anyway, her, she's like a uh, 46 uh, double E. And anyway, the bra kind of fell off the line, and I ran it over with the lawnmower just to kind of – there were bits and guts everywhere. This, this These are like $62 Lane Bryant bras. There was bits of bra everywhere. Hey, you guys have a good one. My name is Jim. Nice. <laughs> he left his phone number, so oh, I, I took it out. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, what a cool guy. Wow. $62? $62. Lane, Lane Bryant bra. He knows. But do better. Yeah, do better because you ran over her bra, man. The and grass was probably tall. Yeah, because th- that's a pretty, it's a pretty big bra. Yeah. How big are your boobs? Honestly, swear I don't even know. Yeah, because you just buy that. All the bras are. I mean, I, I, like a, I don't know, I don't know. I don't, yeah. Forty four G. 44H? I don't know. So the higher the numbers, the bigger the size? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And she was an E? Yeah, she got them big old floppies. Damn. Yeah. He could run over a small child. Yeah. Hmm. He could have. He needs to He needs to pay attention. Yeah, he needs to be careful. He does need to be careful. He needs to be careful. Jim, do better, man. But hey, thanks for calling in. Dude, I love that he went straight into the story. No, like, hey, got just literally. My wife is doing laundry. <laughs> and I love that I love that he probably jumped off of the uh lawnmower and went ran and called us. My wife was <laughs> <laughs> What a cool guy. A cool guy. And you know, he's out there cutting the grass. Mm-hmm. He mm. sounded really sweet like they go to church. Aww. And he was really upset about that bra. Yeah. Well, fuck, he's gonna have to probably Get a new bra now. And bras are expensive. Bra. Especially Lane Bryant. Yeah. They're expensive. They are. Where is that brand? It's in malls. Mm-hmm. And also online. I um I don't wear like expensive Lane. Like my bras come from Walmart. Mm-hmm. I don't even wear them. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Well. So. Half the time I don't wear them. I actually um could push these yitties up though. Yeah. Go for well, sometimes it could look <clears throat> cute, but yeah. damn, dude, wearing that a bra with an underwire. That's mm-mm. what I'm saying. I don't do it. Mm-mm. Hey, honey's braless here. Yeah. Do you think I could stay braless all my braless all my life? Or why not? True. Nipples are in. I think. Well, and just titties. Just you know seeing what them. I mean? though. I like seeing them. I have so many, honestly, I'm going to get serious with you guys. I have so many women that will message me and they're like, oh, I would have never gone braless. Like I've got just big floppy fuckers and they're saggy and, you know, we have to wear a bra everywhere we go. And and they're like, you know, seeing you just walking around, I went braless for the very first time at the grocery store and it felt so good. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. My sisters are always like, I need a bra. I'm like, dude, just let those things fucking just let them hang it's like a societal rule that only you know little tit little perky titties can go brawless i'm like uh my things flop down to my belly button i don't give a fuck Mm -mm. i think it's the cutest thing ever when you can see nipples yeah through a shirt any size titty i don't fucking care really i love it like what about about mine any Mm -hmm. any titty especially yours thank you i think it's like a cute fashion thing thing yeah Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks for calling in. What a great way to start off the pod. Yes. Thank you very much. Hey, honey, it's me here. I just need to confess something and maybe get your opinion. So my best friend, who has been my best friend for about two years now, we've been close. We're about about to date. Um, Turns out she lied to me and used me for my money. Um. She ditched me after I confronted her in a lie, which split me and another best friend up. She then blocked me. I proceeded to text her ex about two hours later, 
We then ended up talking, and her ex, who's a guy, by the way, he's a dude. Um, we ended up talking, and then about two hours later, we talked about seeing each other. I fought her ex that night. We go in about three sessions, each lasting an hour and a half each. I stayed the night, um, slept with him in his bed the whole night, <clears throat> and left the next morning before his parents got home. So my question to you is, am I in the right here, and what would you have done? Anyways, bye, honeys. Oh, yeah? Wow. <laughs> so your best friend used you for money, fucked you over. You called up her ex-boyfriend and fucked her ex-boyfriend. Called up to get some clarification, ended up fucking him for three sessions, an hour and a half apiece. Let's do the math on that. That's what, four and a half hours of fucking? That's some good fucking. He got a gaping asshole. <laughs> four and a half hours of straight anal and straight God anal. damn. Four and a half hours of anal. They had to have been sucking <clears throat> and fucking. Well, they were switching yeah. up. Yeah. Still. She could have been. Even an hour of straight Amy. Yeah. So I wonder how this happens. They're like, damn, dude, she took my money. Do you just want to fuck me? Or what? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know what happened. Like, How did it <clears throat> get into that point? Like, Dude, me and Tiffany aren't friends anymore. She stole from me and fucked me up and ruined a friendship with someone else. You horny? <laughs> <laughs> you horny? I mean, I might have done it. It depends. Depends on... <clears throat> depends on how mean she did you. You know, it depends on, I don't know. Like, I mean, get your nut, you know? Depends on how dirty she did you. Would I do that? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so let's say... Uh, fuck, dude. What? I'm trying to, like, put it into... Because what if they didn't like dick before? Yeah. And then they both just all of a sudden... Want to fuck each other? Hey, honey's or? drama here. Jerry, Jerry. <coughs> Stop. Wow, that is, that's, that's something. I think if you're both horny and she's out of the picture in both of y'all's lives, why not? It's just a butthole. It's just a butthole and it's just a mouth. Well, his parents, he said his par- the parents came home. So he's living with his parents. Wow. Damn. Just nutting while your dad's downstairs making a sandwich. You're upstairs <laughs> nutting in a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I would do. Oh my God. That's something I would do. No, he said he left before the parents got yeah, home. Yeah, he, oh. he got the hell out of there. Oh. Get the hell out of her. Wow. <laughs> yeah, man. Don't feel bad about that. Did Did you do the right thing? Probably not. I guess. Well, I mean. I mean, probably not, but at at the same time, you know, YOLO. She didn't do you right. She, I mean, but. uh, You know what I mean? Yeah. If if you're not associated with her, just whatever. Yeah. She's probably not your friend anymore, obviously, or his, so. That's what I'm saying. If if she's, yeah. I would even text her and be like, thanks for bringing us closer together. Send a send you a pig. I would. You would. I would. I'd be like, thanks, Tiffany. Yeah, for bringing Ma- me and so and so closer. Together. Maggie would send a picture of her sucking his dick, <laughs> and then resend it. Hey, Tiffany, did you get this? <laughs> Just want to make sure you got it. <laughs> Stop. Stop, dude. Wow. All right. Well, well, happy. Love you. Glad you got your nut, and we love you. Hi, uh, my name is Tara, and my, I guess, advice that I'd like to get is I've been married for five years now, and I want to know, is it, like, asking too much for your spouse to be affectionate? Like, my husband used to be very affectionate, and, like, the longer we're together, I get less and less, like, physical affection, and it, like, really bothers me because, like, it's not like I want to go elsewhere for it. Is it asking too much of someone to be more affectionate if they claim that it's just not in them to give? Um, Yeah, that's my advice because I miss the small things and I just don't get them. Like sex has gone down, uh, physical touches, all this stuff. So, yeah, I'd love to hear your advice on that. Oh, honeys. (laughs) 
A um, couple things I heard in there that kind of raised some eyebrows. Um, Is she still on the yeah, line? It's, it's, you can, can stop, you it, stop Brett. it, Brett. Oh, really? Yeah. A <laughs> um, couple things in there. She said, he says he's not, what did he say? He's not capable? Or what was the word? He's, it, he, it's not in him anymore. It's, oh, it's not in him to the do kid. that. But yet, at the beginning, she said he was very affectionate. So it is in him. Yeah, he's already showed that it's in him. It is in him. Um, you know, man, the longer you're with people, it, you know, things, people get lazy, people don't try anymore. And that's, I mean, that's, I think that happens with literally almost every, everyone. Shit sizzles out. <clears throat> um, no, I don't think you're asking for too much. I think that's the basic, uh, that's basic. And that's how you feel. Yeah. Because hmm, he's yeah. not doing that anymore. So yeah. you have to tell him though or else mm-hmm. he's not going to know. Yeah. Especially, it sounds like she has talked to him because he says, oh, it's not in me anymore. I would bring up like, it is it, it, it is in you. I'd sit that motherfucker down. Yeah. And just be like, hey, listen, I'm not happy. I'm, you know. The severity like, of make it. Make sure that he knows you're serious. For yes. sure. And I feel like that's something that's really um, simple to fix. Yeah, just a little here and there touch. You know? I would say me and Brett, though, we used to be, like, way more physical. Really? Mm-hmm. And now... <clears throat> Sorry. Now we're just... We rarely... T- we just fuck. I, y'all fuck a lot. I feel guilty for saying this because of calls like this and hearing... I mean, I've had friends say the same thing like my husband doesn't touch not even sex like doesn't hug me doesn't greg love him to death love him to death greg is overly affectionate towards me to the point where i have to like and i like it i like a little bit of it but he will a lot he it's constant and i feel like the longer we're together the more it gets, which is the opposite of other people. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, damn, let me breathe. Yeah. You yeah. know, and I feel like maybe it kind of started when I started touring. Mm-hmm. Cause you know, a couple years ago it was just normal affection. He's always been affectionate, but I think it's cause I'm gone so much that when he sees me, it's, he smothers me with affection, constantly hugging me, kissing. He will kiss me fucking a hundred times a day to the point where if he walks over to kiss me, I'll kind of be like, Oh, like, I feel bad for feeling that way. Yeah, your your lips are sore. And sometimes he'll be like, what? You don't want me to kiss you? I'm like, you just kissed me 30 seconds ago. And I feel <laughs> so, I feel bad. No, it's annoying. He's a lot. He's a lot. You see it. He's, yeah. He's a lot with me. Yeah, it's bad. Damn. Yeah, I don't like It's that. It's a lot. And it got, it, it really got bad when I started touring. So I try not to be like, you know, I get it. He misses me. I try not to be. And I'm not the type of person that needs a lot of that a little bit sure but he like he's always wanting to hold my hand it's a lot and I feel guilty for feeling that way but yeah it's important you know I think if if Greg stopped altogether I'd probably feel the same way she feels I'd be like I need I need a little something mm-hmm. yeah I get that just sh- and to show that you care yeah still show you care like that's an even easy with fit. a compliment or like a you know like go, I don't know if you could like work on an agreement like maybe he was overly smothering her mm-hmm. and he was like well yeah but I feel like that's such an easy fix man he you know to I would just tell him exactly what you need like hey when you come home could you just come over and just give Pat me my a, ass just a just a five second hug and kit uh, that could mean everything to her. Mm-hmm. You know, I read something and it said like you and your partner should hug for like 10 seconds yeah. every day. And that just like builds something and just, I don't oh, know, it's like t- good for your health, yeah. mental and physical health. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Just hug, just to hug another human. That is strange. Like, like to touch people. Physical touch. Isn't that wild? But then some people hate being touched. Mm-hmm. Sounds like it might be her love language. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. He needs to, he needs to, there's a book, well, the five love languages. I've read it. Greg's read it. It's a really good book. Um, God, I would recommend that to anyone having any 
problems in any relationship. It's a, it's a short book. It'll take you a couple days to read. Um, I didn't know anything about the love languages before I read it. And it just, it was kind of like, whoa, like it just woke you up. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I would recommend reading that. God, that would probably save so many relationships, but yeah, you need physical touch, honeys. I don't think you're overreacting. I don't think you're asking for too much. I think you're asking for the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. Just talk to him. Let him know you're serious. I do not like cuddling. I don't either. Get too hot. Holding hands is good for about mm, 10 seconds. Yeah. And then need my other hand. (laughs) Yeah. I agree. I'm I don't I'm not like too much like that, but I yeah. like like massages or sometimes I'll massage Brett. Yeah. Or you like stuff phys- like that. You like physical touch. You don't like intimate but you cuz you love your hair being played with. You like that type of touch. <laughs> I like all these things done to me. You like I like feeling good. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. So. I I could just go get a massage, huh? Let's go do it. Oh god. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Honey. Hey, wait. One time what? I did have a massager when we were in LA. Uh-huh. Like she was getting real close to my lips. I've had that done. You have too, or you're just like, huh? They oh, get... at the bathhouse we go to, uh-huh. they will scrub your asshole and your pussy. Yeah. It did freaked you have me it out. Get done? Yeah, the... it freaked me out the first time we went, and I told you it happened. Yes. The Korean scared me to death. Korean bathhouses, they do body scrubs. Mm-hmm. They will scrub your butthole. They will scrub your fupa. They get everything. You're laying on a table butt naked. Yeah. What are they just scr- scrubbing. They're scrubbing with a loofah? They use like hand scrubbers and they put soap and they just scrub your body. It feels really good. It's great. It's amazing. Damn. They will get your fupa. She'll like lift my fupa up and get up in there. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. The asshole. Mm-hmm. Damn. Feel the lips back. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. How much does that run? Like 30 bucks. It's Whoa. amazing. Yeah. It's like 60 probably. Yeah. When we Maggie t- said they put your hair in like a bucket or something yeah. and play with your head. You'd love it. Oh my. I'd be They like wash your all face. Day. Yeah. Everything. Oh, what a dream. Mm, we got to go, honeys. Mm-hmm. I wonder if they have those here. Well, I asked you if you want to go get a body scrubs with me and you say no. I'll yeah, because I feel like my skin isn't, like, too bumpy, and I'm always worried, like, something will start happening, and then I got to keep going back and getting my butthole scrubbed or something. <laughs> no. And my butthole's pretty good. Before they scrub you, they put you in a hot tub for, like, 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. It's like a big bathtub. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, yeah, imagine trying to scrub somebody's ass without that hot tub. Yeah. Not good. Not good. <laughs> and getting that stank. You gotta soak it first. Yeah, you gotta soak that asshole first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they make kind of like their dishes. Asshole. Well, then you sh- <laughs> and then you shower before you get into the hot tub. Yeah. Oh wow. So they want, they you're want that super, asshole clean. Mm-hmm. You're super clean. Yeah. <laughs> well, how do we go from that to this? Okay. Uh, <laughs> love you, honeys. Um, thank you for calling in. I'm sorry to hear about that, honeys. Yes. Just. I think you should uh, definitely talk to him again. Let him know you're fucking serious. Get over here and fucking kiss me. Yep. And it shouldn't feel forced either. Mm-hmm. If you have to tell him, then he oh, okay, well, now I got to kiss you now because you're mm-hmm. unreal. Yeah. unreal. Love you, honeys. With all the bad news about prices these days, it's nice to know that Adam and Eve is still offering the best deal. And you know we love deal. Does. At adamandeve.com, get 50% off plus free shipping. That's 50% off any adventurous new toy, any slippery dippery lube. You can never have enough lube. Our podcast listeners will get 50% off almost any item. Just use code VIRAL at checkout and you'll get 50% off. And free shipping. It doesn't matter what you choose. All will be packaged and sent discreetly to your door for free. Not only will you save money on gas, date nights out, the movies, an expensive dinner. You get satisfaction at home and you just get to lay there so go to adamandeve.com 
and select any one item. This is an exclusive offer specific for this podcast. So be sure to support our show and use this code VIRAL to get you not just the 50% off, but also the 100% free shipping. Code VIRAL. Go to adamandeve.com right now. Oh, yeah. Hey, honey. It's me here in the bathtub here. Also heartbroken here. Um, I guess was just seeing if I could get any advice on how you guys feel just about different kinds of infidelity, I guess. You guys have talked a lot about it on the pod. Um, and I never really thought that I'd be dealing with this situation, but um, I know that you guys, Chelsea, you have an OnlyFans and stuff, but I recently found out that my long-term boyfriend of eight years um, has been spending hundreds of dollars on OnlyFans and subscriptions, messaging. Honestly, I don't really know the full details, um, but I'm just feeling pretty heartbroken and betrayed by that, and I don't know if that's right of me to feel this way, but um, I guess I'm just looking to see what you guys have to say about it. Um, any, any input, but yeah, thanks, honey. Oh, honeys. I see red flags on that one. Yeah. Um, I do have an OnlyFans. I, I don't post porn or anything to my OnlyFans. It's comedy on there. R rated comedy. I don't, if someone does do porn on there, there's zero judgment for me. I mean, who, I don't know, you know, I see nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, I feel like if I found out Greg was spending money on OnlyFans pages for women and, you know, paying whatever to talk to whatever, and I'm not even a jealous person in our relationship. I'm not jealous at all. That would... uh Because it's more of a personal, like, sure, hop on Pornhub, whatever, but if you're subscribing to a specific person, messaging them, that's building a relationship with somebody. That's that's yeah. cheating, in my opinion. Yeah, that would really be a, that would be a lot for me. I'd be pissed. And if he doesn't think, oh, I didn't think he was hiding, whatever, then why didn't he tell you? That's true. Oh, I didn't. I never met up with someone. I never did. You know, like. Yeah. Oh, honeys. And the thing is, she said, I never thought I'd be dealing with this. No one ever, no one ever thinks that about their partner. Until they think they're going to be the ones that don't have to deal. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I have an OnlyFans too. And even if people message me or, you know, it's just like, I never, I don't know. Like, mm. I'll message people back, but just like in a funny way and shit. Oh, yeah. And I tell Brett, like, Brett sees, or he doesn't give a fuck, but, like, if you're actually spending money to talk to these people, and and how much money, like. That's what I'm saying, because some of these OnlyFans creators have, like, a lot of followers, a ton of followers. So, a subscriber may be, you know, like, they don't even know who they're talking to. But some of these OnlyFans people don't have a lot of, so it is a personal one-on-one. Mm-hmm. They only may have a few subscribers, and he if he's subscribing to them and talking to them, you're right. That is built. That is like. Because start- I see girls on Twitter promoting their OnlyFans, and they'll have like a hundred yeah. Twitter followers. Or that's what I'm saying. You know, it's like how many, and even though they might not think of your husband or boyfriend like that, it's just like yeah. It's a lot. They're just trying to get that fucking money. Mm-hmm. But it could get to that point of building a relationship if you have the right connection. A hundred percent. Honeys, I, I I feel like you're valid in that. I, I would be very upset by that. To me, that would be cheating. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. so sorry. I'd be heartbroken and yeah. tore up. Yeah. Love you. Love you, Gosh. honeys. Hey, honeys. Heartbroken here. Is that the same one? Uh, yeah. I did the whole let them go, and if they come back to you, then it's yours thing with the love of my life, and it's not going the way I want it to go. 
So I'm asking for advice. What should I do if I've let someone go and I've done what they've asked me to do and they come back and it's just not going the way I need it to go? Do I trust that what the person is saying is true and that they really want to work on something? Or should I take my gut feeling and not do anything with it and just move on with it? Thanks, honey. Oh, yeah? Oh. Hey, man, stop breaking hearts, you. I'm, I'm so sad. Two heartbroken ears back to back. Oh. Fuck. I know. I thought that was the same call at first. I was like, that's the same one. Um, oh, God, you guys. I feel on this one. I mean, I've been in a relationship that I did not want to end. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I can never picture myself with anybody else. And anytime he would hit me up, I'd fucking, oh, yeah, I'll go back to him. And, you know, you just, like, get that hope of, oh, maybe we could save our relationship. But it obviously didn't work out for me. And then I had to keep, like, backtracking And getting my heart broken over and over again. And it's just not fucking worth it. Like, you have to move on and just say, fuck that person. Yeah. Pretty much. Work on yourself, more importantly. You know, I, you know, I don't know the situation where she's calling. I don't know what happened. I don't know, you know, anything like that. I am and always have been a big gut person. If, if I feel something's off if I feel like something's not right and not even in a relationship I I use this in my everyday life if I if I'm it could be anything if I feel like you know what that seems too good to be true this is that something feels weird about I won't do it like Mm -hmm. I'm very big into that and I always always I've you know I've been trying to tell our nieces um you know I've been trying to talk to them a lot about gut feelings like always go with your gut if something doesn't feel right something feels off like go with your gut trust that Trust your instincts. Um, if you feel, you know, you said, should I go with my gut? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I think so. I don't know the situation. If you've tried to make this work a lot and it, nothing's changing and, you know, I always say go with your gut. Even if your gut's saying, should I stay in, if your gut's saying, should I stay and try to make this work again? I go with your gut. I'm not saying leave him. I'm saying it, whatever your gut in, in, in your heart is telling, I think you should go with that. Yeah. Damn, it's so hard when feelings get involved. Oh. Oh, dude. Oh. Relationships are hard, man. Even if they're good, they're hard. It, just feeling <sighs> heartbroken is so hard, though. Yeah. I used to think, oh, my gosh, dude, I can't believe girls actually get heartbroken. Like, you know, yeah. growing up, and then once it happened to me, I was like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. But now I'm good. Now you got him. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 now we have the one minute, man. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Dude, yeah. That's like on um, a uh, Yes, honeys, um, we love you. It's like, when do you get to a point, though, when when people are like, I swear I've changed. I've done this. I've done that. Just like, when do you know they're serious? How can they prove that to you without ruining your fucking life? Actions. Like, I wouldn't do shit. I wouldn't go drive to see that. Mm -hmm. Old me would have been in my car freaking going 80 down the freeway. Mm -hmm. New me? Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. No. I'm, you got to stick up for yourself and don't be a rebound for anybody. Yep. Good advice, honeys. Thank you. That's why I'm right here with this mic. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. Hey, honeys. Lukewarm liquid lover here. I've got this really weird love of watered down flat soda. You know, the kind where you watch the whole movie in theaters and can finish your soda. I will finish it for you, honeys. I also love coffee when it's been cooled down all the way and hot liquid, like soup and hot tea on a hot day, my favorite. I hate cold water. It makes me 
feel gross and tight, love me some warm liquid. So uh, let me know if y'all have any weird, unpopular food opinions. All right. Love ya. Bye. Whoa. Okay. This threw me off. Let me think about it. Hey, honey's warm Luke liquid lover here. Luke warm <laughs> liquid lover here. That's funny. Um, oh the, the drink one got me cause the ice, the ice flattens in. Can't do that one. I don't love it, but I'll still drink it. If my shit's watered down, I'll still finish it. It depends how long, but mm-hmm. not for me. Um, I love when she said I love uh, warm soups and warm like hot teas on a hot day. That reminded me. Um, I don't mind eating. So one time I wanted to. I remember I wanted to cook chili, and this was not too long ago. And Gala, our aunt, was like, it was like summertime, and she was like, "Why would you? Why are you wanting to cook chili in the summertime? It's too. It's that's too hot. It'll be too hot to eat." And I go, "Cause it sounds good. You'd eat a hot meal anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's just a hot meal." And she was like, oh, yeah, I never thought about that. I go, it's, if we're not eating hot chili, we're eating hot chicken or hot meatloaf or hot, you're eating something hot, so what does it matter? Yeah. Yeah. Hot coffee. You know? Yeah. Do I I have any weird food things? I, with my cheese, like in a quesadilla and stuff. um, You are weird about that. But I don't like it when it's super, super hot because I don't want to see the the cheese string. I'd rather just get it all the clumps and fucking push it aside. You're so weird about cheese. I, it's <laughs> textures. I, I'm finding out. Maggie, do I have any weird food things? I don't think so. There's a couple things I don't like. I don't like pesto. I don't like beets, and that's really about it. I can't think of anything. I'm not a big pork lover. Those are like the only three things. Other than that, I'll eat anything. I'll. Jerry waits for his food to get cold all the time. Like I cook, and I'll cook. Nice kind of meals, and I'm like, fucking eat. We've noticed, and I'm like, dude, fucking. We've eat. noticed Jerry will eat. Jerry will order something, and then not eat it. Have you noticed that the whole way from California mm-hmm. to Illinois? He was the weirdest eater. Mm-hmm. He is like that. He and, is, and he'll wait for his coffee to get cold, and then just chug it. And I'm Y'all- like, why do you? Do these things. Oh, oh, I'm not going to eat from this time to this time. I'm just going to save it. I'm going to. But he still orders. He uh-huh. Like y'all y'all went to Wendy's or somewhere the other day. There was like a bag of food in the kit. I was like, whose is this? It's been here for like hours. Like, and it was his. He was like, oh, that's my food from this morning. He didn't eat it. And I was like, well, you want me to throw it away? He was like, no. He ke- he keeps food. He keeps it, but he doesn't eat it. I know. <laughs> yeah, we've noticed that about Jerry. <laughs> oh, but, yeah. We were at my sister's house and he heated up some burritos and then. Didn't need them. And then... um, It's so weird. He's like, oh, can you just put them in the fridge? And so they were there for like two fucking weeks. And he (laughs) left and went back home. And then I took a picture. I'm like, dude, are you going to still eat these? Yeah. Yeah. He's a weird one with that. But I I don't have anything weird. I'm not a weird eater. You just don't like condensation around the outside of your cup. Like condensation around my cups and I think that's because when I worked at Sonic before we uh sent an order out we had to make sure all the cups were wiped down there was no soda on the side of them there was no nothing they had to be clean and nice and clean and I think that like programmed my mind into like when I have a cup a Starbucks cup anything it cannot have I has to be clean on the outside no moisture no moisture no moisture for you Mm. 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 Yum. It's like a habit. Mm-hmm. What about you guys? Any weird food thing things? I, I mean, I kind of do what Jerry does, like the fasting, whatever he's into. Like, just try not to eat for a while. No, um, I don't even think that's fat. He, I don't even think he's fasting. Think that's, what he, that's what he's he, doing. He's hoarding Yeah, but the then, food. But then while, you know. Yeah. That's what happens when you come out of a family of eight. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's a fat. Like, he just won't eat it and he'll keep it and it'll be thrown away. Then why order something? If it's in my face, I'll eat it. That's what I'm saying. A lot of the wait, times wait. he will eat it, but like hours later. Yeah. I cleaned Brett, my truck out from our road trip. Found the, all his meals. The big console. There was um, McDonald's biscuits down there, burritos, a Subway sandwich. Jerry was just putting the food down in there. <laughs> no. Swear. Brett. <laughs> um, 
Just a while ago, you said you'll eat, you'll eat anything if it's in your face. Mm. What about my pussy? Yes. No. Probably have to ask Paige first. Ask her. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll later. I'll serve it up on a <laughs> Can I eat platter? Chelsea's pussy if it's in oh, my face? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's in. it's been in my face, though, and I didn't eat it, so. That's true. Huh. Well. <laughs> You weren't trying. Brett just starts eating it. I'll fucking puke. Eat it out. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. He isn't bad at it. Not bad at all. Okay. Well, next question. Okay. Ladies, we all know it's hot girl summer, but what kind of summer is your man having? If your man is not participating in smooth sack summer, then what is he even doing? Do better. It's a nice day for it. Smooth sack summer. That's right. This is the summer to keep his balls cool while still looking hot with Manscaped. Dive headfirst into smooth sack summer by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with using the code viral. Trust me, you do not want to be bobbing for apples and get a mouthful of hair. I've had that happen to me before. And it sucks. It was sucky, not so smooth summer. Their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. Oh, and did I mention this trimmer is waterproof too? So he can shave his balls in the shower. Beach, lake, or shower? This razor will devour even the strongest of pubes. If you have coarse pubes like me, on. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code viral at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code viral at manscaped.com. Hot girls everywhere agree it's smooth sack summer. Get your man on board before it ends. Hey honey, Jen here, uh, admin of the Facebook group here. So, um, I have a quick story for you. My husband and I were watching Game of Thrones. I've never seen it, so we just started it. And we were on episode six last night. And there was a scene with some sex workers where the guy was telling them to touch each other and what to do and all that. And it was pretty spicy. It was getting pretty heated. And my husband and I were looking at each other. And then all of a sudden in the toy box, my daughter's toy box, this lamb starts playing, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. And I'm freaking out. And it will not stop. So my husband goes over there and starts digging it out, and this lamb is just playing and playing, and the TV is these girls touching each other. And I grab the lamb. And I ripped the voice box out of it, and it's still playing. We had to literally smash it with a hammer to get it to stop. So, yeah, I'm on my way to church today, and uh, I think the Lord's telling me something. Anyway, just wanted to let y'all know that. Love you, girls. Oh, yeah. Love Love you. you. And thank you for being an admin on the Facebook. That's a lot of work, and we appreciate you. Hey, honey's admin here. Hey, honey's son from God here. I had a toy like that. It was a monkey. You could, like, hang it from stuff, and its legs would, like, flip. Uh-huh. And one night, 3 a.m., when I was younger, my monkey starts making all the noise, and I had to, and it would not shut off. And so I went and got my parents, and then my dad took out the batteries. It still wouldn't shut the fuck up, so we are like, pounding it against the walls and floor and trying to shut it up and then they're like you just have to throw it away and I was heartbroken there's nothing you could do it would not shut the fuck up hey honey's evil toys here what is that I've never had that happen never Maggie no Mm -mm. that's when I was yeah and it was kind of traumatizing because it's just like okay the batteries are gone hmm Maybe some wires are like, maybe it's wired different. Yeah. Possessed. I guess so, or maybe it's just the devil. Maybe. Maybe. Hey, honeys, thank you for being an admin here on the Rock Fuckers group. We that, love you guys. That's creepy. Mm-hmm. That child's toy is creepier than mine, because it wasn't the same. 
Yeah. Have a good time at church. Love ya. Hey, honeys. This is Michelle. Um, I was scrolling through TikTok <clears throat> last night, and I came across a video that um, was talking about vabbing, and I am absolutely curious about this. I was wondering if you guys have ever heard of it. Basically, it's where women take their vagina juices and dab it on their neck and wrist um, to basically attract um, men or women for with pheromones, I guess. Um, look it up, and I want to see your uh, hear your guys' opinions. Love you, honeys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Imagine you just get your cream. You're like, cream. Oh, my God. And when it dries, does it dry white? What? Or it's does it look like crusty. the clear glue? I bet they just take the rag. Uh, they don't They don't use the cream, the discharge that comes out. They probably just <laughs> take their hands and <laughs> use the regular pussy juice that's mo- moist down there and do it. I don't know. Yeah, but, it, yeah, Maggie's right. Is it going to dry up like Elmer's glue? Well, let's try it. Put it on your neck. I will tell you this, though. The hormone smell is a real thing because when I was in high school, my best friend's mom oh, God. found out that we shaved our pussies. And she got mad. Or she found out that, she, that my friend shaved her pussy, I guess. And she got mad. And and I don't know. I, I had said something to her. So I was like, why? We don't need pussy hair anyway. You know, I said something like that. Because I started shaving in high school because I don't like the hair when I'm on my period. Like, it's gross to me. Like, the chunks would get caught up in the hair and shit, so I would just shave. Mm-hmm. To me, it wasn't even a sexual thing. I wasn't having sex in high school. I was, You know, it was just a clean thing for me. So my friend shaved as well. I don't know her mom found out or something. And I remember her mom just gropping at her for it. And I was like, why? We don't need pussy hair anyway. And her mom freaked out and was like, yes, you do. And she explained how the the smells from your vagina get caught in the hair. And that's how you find a mate. Like that's like, it's like prehistoric, like caveman. That's how like caveman would go and smell for the one, like the, like the woman. That's like the smell of a woman. So that's how like, that's how it was and i guess still is subconsciously like the smells of yeah so that's a thing just put a band-aid on it or duct tape hold on the pussy hair smell gets stuck in the 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 pussy juice the pussy juice the pussy you know smells coming off it whatever if you have the hair it, it helps like keep it there so it's like i don't know details kind of like chelsea's chair she just pissed and it's gonna smell like piss right they would Smell the wild. It's like an air freshener. Yeah. Damn. So that's a that's a real thing. So the the <laughs> pussy juice smell. I mean, I I don't I don't know. I don't know, you guys. That's a wild mom. Yeah. You need pussy hair so you can find a mate. Yeah. We don't want anybody sniffing for sniffing you out. Exactly. What about bo though? Um. Yeah. Some people well, like that. I feel like yeah. those dogs loved me the other day because I smelled really bad. Oh, yeah. They were trying to get in my cooter and saw my period. I'm like, stop trying to smell my clots. What? Uh, trying to shoo them away. I hate yeah. when dogs run up and they try do to that. sniff your puss. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you're over at someone's house and the dog comes up. Yeah. And they're smelling your pussy and you're like gently trying, <laughs> you're gently trying to be like, get, get, get. And you don't want to be like, get up. Because you know your, your pussy stinks if the dog's coming <laughs> up and. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I just I just flat out said it because everyone was right there. I was just like, quit trying to smell like pussy or something. Dead. Hilarious. Gosh. Good times. That's fucking funny, Chelsea. Amen. So that's Hi, honey. Rock bottom, top shelf, beat up pussy here. Mm. Tired dick here. <gasps> um, growing up, my I dad always spit. told me that. Sex was the most important part of a relationship. And I uh, was just wondering what your thoughts were on that. Love y'all. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Hold on. Play that again. I, I... Hi, honeys. Rock bottom, top shelf, beat up pussy here. Tired dick here. <laughs> Tired um, dick. Up, my dad always told me that sex was the most important part of a relationship. 
pen. Tired oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, that, that is, needs to be a soundbite. Yeah, <laughs> sound yeah, I like that. Tired dick here. That, make that a soundbite, Brett, please. We're going to run out of room. I know. <laughs> Tired dick Tired here. Tired dick here. I was not expecting that <laughs> at Holy all. Fuck. I love that they decided to call together. Yeah. And he said, tired dick here. And he did sound tired. He did. Yeah, he did. He was wore out. Tired, that pussy. Tired dick here. That pussy wore him out. That's fucking funny. Hey, honeys, we're so, I'm so happy that you're having lots of sex. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good for you guys. I think sex is important for, your dad's not wrong. Uh, Dad was right. Listen to dad. Get it right, get it tight. Amen. What song is that? Uh, Bubba Sparks. Yeah, you're right. Bubba Sparks <laughs> just knows. <laughs> you're right, right, Brett. Get it tight. Yes. I thought it was the Yin Yang Twins for some reason. Ooh. They get might be right. featured on it. You know. Get they, it they, right. Get it right. Get, get it, it tight. tight. Yeah. That was yeah. like early 2000 shit. Mm-hmm. When, the good, when the good shit was out. Oh, God. Banger. Oh, man. Now, Definitely Bubba Sparks, yeah. Tired dick here. Soundbite. Snow booty. Yes. Yeah. Good times. Thanks for calling in, guys. So this is actually the last question. Yeah. All right. For Rizzle? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Hey, honeys. Ejaculator here. And I just want to let y'all know, I don't think females know, but you can determine how good the sex was with your man by how much he ejaculates. All right? So if he's come with these small loads, uh, the sex wasn't in. But if he's giving these big loads, you know you got the shit. All right. Bye, guys. Love you. Is that real? I like him. Semen defender. You know, she, she complains about it's too much semen. Too much I don't load. know if that's real. I don't think that's true. Can't be. I don't think that's true. If you nut, you nut. You can't control how much comes out. I Is mean, it? yeah, I've seen all types of loads. Right. Was and that- it depends <laughs> on if they've just nutted. That's and true. You fuck again 30 minutes. If it, it doesn't matter. Let's say if a dude hasn't nutted in four days, but he has bad, mediocre sex, he's still going to have a huge load. Yeah. But if a guy nutted this morning and he's having the best sex of his life, he's not going to come as much. That's just common sense. <laughs> that kid don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> we don't have a dick and we're just like, no, we know. But we know. We're yeah. like, fuck you, man. <laughs> <But> those <laughs> don't matter. <laughs> But every dick is so different. It is. Well, Brett, can you have a good, strong, amazing orgasm and not come a lot? Probably. Or, or does the or is the orga- <laughs> No, is the orgasm this? Does the orgasm feel the same whether the load is small or big? It's definitely more intense if there's a lot. Like sometimes I'll just be coming and I haven't came yet. You know, yeah. Just keep going and going and going. So does it just last longer? Or is it more yeah, intense? Yeah, yeah. I'd say it lasts longer, more intense. Like hmm. a build Bigger up. Load. Yeah. I mean, a build up makes sense. Hmm. I'm so curious on this. I would love to read y'all's DMs about this. Honestly, if you're a dude, it does make sense for me. But I mean, if they want to last longer for the girl, they probably have to ejaculate before. Yeah. So they don't come so because they're not going to be as sensitive. For sure. You know. For sure. I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm with Maggie. I don't know if that's right. I don't know. I've man. never heard of it before. I would love to get y'all's take on this. Love to dive in that cum and figure this out. Yeah. Yeah, DM us and let us know. Yeah. How you come and your loads and stuff. We'd love to know. Just the side, like. The I never even tried you know. to figure it out before. I just. I didn't know that was a thing. I know. It seems like you guys don't really like this the semen, the pump, the cum, all that's that. My stuff. Favorite, that's my favorite part, Brett. Mm. Huh. But I will say this for me, my nuts are different each time. I could have, like, my orgasm could be on a scale from one to 10. And if it's the higher, and almost like a, a, a smaller orgasm, because if I'm, if my orgasms are crazy intense, I can't finish them. Yeah, because they're too much. So I like a small orgasm because I because it I'm able to finish it. Then your clit gets all numb. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know, and I I remember asking dudes before, like, do y'all have different levels of nut? And everyone I talked to was like, no, we just 
It feels the same. You know, so I didn't know there was different levels of. Brett sometimes would be like, well, that felt really good. And, like, oh. you can tell. Huh. Some nuts are definitely better than others. Okay. I disagree. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah. but does, that, does that have to do with the load is what I'm saying? Probably. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, or Very, or uh, how hard the dick is. Like oh. It's, like, super hard. Yeah. That's a good feeling. That's why you need that cock ring. Yeah. Very interesting discussion to have. I would love to get y'all's feedback on this. Huh. Cool. What a I'm not, great... I'm not a fan of the cock ring, though. Mm. I, I feel like it would interfere with the pump. Yeah. You know? Constrict it. Gotcha. A little bowl constrictor. Yeah. Makes sense. Damn. Okay. <laughs> what a great pod. Thank y'all for tuning in. Hey, be sure to follow us on... Um, <gasps> we didn't do a rock fucker of the week. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, guys. We if- should do one right now. Okay. Yeah, let's just do it right now. Just do it. All right. Holy moly. You should go on the comments and then just close your eyes, and then I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. I'm so sorry, guys, but we didn't do it. Okay, I'm going to go to, let's do, let's click on this. Like our last post or something. Okay, this has 68 comments. Okay, close your eyes. Stop. All right. It is... Kita underscore mom 17 honeys. You are the rock fucker of the week. You get a free t-shirt. So we will reach out to you and, and get your size and your address and let us know which one you want. And thanks for interacting with us on social media. You get you a free t-shirt honeys. Love ya. Love ya. Do they have to be nice? Hell yeah, Maggie. <laughs> Do they have to be following to, they need to be following and interacting. So we, we'll, we'll go on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. We'll just click through, you know, the comments, the shares. And if there's any interaction, we'll just do that again. We'll just randomly pick someone. And every week, you could be a rock fucker of the week. Congrats on being the rock fucker. How exciting. I love those some accounts. you got to be following this, <laughs> this, this. Yeah. Fucking hey, honey. Tag 20 friends. Cross promotion queens here. Oh, gosh. That shit's annoying to me. Not me. I'll, cro- I'll cross promote every fucking day. <laughs> I will. Oh, gosh. Those Louis Vuitton giveaways with the orange. Oh, bat. no. Oh, I don't. boy. I'm talking about those type No, deals. I don't Green mean team. that. Go follow all of my followers. and then, No. Oh, God. I've never done that before. I'm not talking about that. I'm yeah. just saying I will tell people to go follow me on Oh, yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. That's different. Yeah, yeah you got to give yourself some clout out. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Love you, honeys. Thank you all so much for being here. Call us with some crazy stories and shit. And call us at 442-777-3331. And always remember, you're doing great. You're looking good. And And fuck what everybody else thinks. We're going viral. We're going viral.